Hello interwebs, how are you doing? I am doing well. This is just a quick vlog. I know, I feel like that's how I start out all of my vlogs. Like this is a vlog. I had no idea. So I've been doing this thing. I have this Google document. I don't know if you guys use Google Docs. It's like my life. If, I, if not for Google Docs, I don't know how it would survive. But I have this like ongoing Google Doc that's just called Notes where I write down like video ideas and like I write Downtime Tuesday there and then I erase it at the end of the week and then I write a new one. Um, and it, it's like filled with random ideas for videos that someday might get done. Uh, but I started actually writing down things that I wanted to talk about in vlogs so that when I got up to vlog, I would I would be not like forget about things I wanted to talk about because I'm the queen of that. So first on my list today is Thanksgiving. I'm very excited. Today is, it is Monday at 9.51 p.m. <laughs> because I tried to fix my sleep schedule and I just, there's no point. There's literally no point. My body wants to sleep like four to noon. That's when it wants to sleep. So I'm done fighting it. Um, anyways, Thanksgiving is Thursday. I'm super excited. I'm going to my sister's house and I'm making a ham, which I know, like, why is anybody this excited about a ham? But I've never really like made a ham before. And I got the most delicious looking ham and I'm making this glaze that's made out of um, Dr. Pepper, brown sugar, real maple syrup, like maple syrup, not Aunt Jemima. You know what I'm talking about. And um, honey and spicy brown deli mustard. So I'm super excited about that because I think it's going to be really good. Then I'm making these cute little appetizers that's like a ball of fresh mozzarella cheese and then a blue cheese stuffed olive and then various like deli meats on little toothpick skewer things. Um, then I'm also making like this pumpkin dip, which I'm not sure if we're going to eat as like a dessert or an appetizer, but it's um, vanilla pudding, whipped cream, like Cool Whip, and um, pumpkin. Um, mushed up and you eat it with apples or graham crackers or vanilla wafers and then Nick is making a pumpkin pie. So I'm really excited about Thanksgiving. Eric is making a ton of stuff. I'm going to eat so much stuff and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, also, okay, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been kind of obsessed with makeup since I got LASIK because I can actually see what I'm doing and I feel like my makeup kind of looks good now. Like I feel like I did not often have makeup that the youths would say was on point. But recently I feel like I'm really killing it. And um, my favorite mascara, I've talked about this before in other videos, is um, Unique Mood Struck Mascara. It's like a two-parter. It's, uh, you. I do my regular mascara first, which I use, um, I don't know, it comes in a pink bottle and I get it at Target, it's like six bucks. But um, I use my regular mascara first and then you use like this stuff that's called like it's like fibers and you put the fibers on over it and then you use like this transplanting gel and then you do a couple coats and next thing you know you've got like falsies that came out of a tube. I swear to God, craziest eyelashes ever. And it's kind of expensive mascara but it's worth it because it lasts like a year because you don't use it as your primary mascara. It's like, it's like an addition to, it's like a mascara accessory. I can't describe it. I love it so, so much and I had to order more which turned into me wanting like all the makeup on the site so I ended up signing up to be what's called a presenter, which basically means that I can sell the makeup now, um, which I literally only did because when you sell makeup, you get free makeup. <laughs> I'm all about free makeup. So if you guys like want to try that, no pressure, no peer pressure, but I'll link my thing in the info below. And once I get my kit, I'm super excited about it. My kit came with like, um, a new new mascara, which is the two part tubes, an eyeliner, an eyeshadow palette, um, a lipstick, a lip gloss, tons of stuff, just like tons and like I literally signed up because I just wanted the makeup. And I figured like worst case scenario, I sold nothing and then didn't get more free makeup, but at least I got the original makeup that I paid for. So I, there's no loser in this situation. But when I actually get it, I'm gonna like, be like, oh, look at me, I'm wearing makeup. Do you wanna see how I did the makeup? Would, is that a thing you would wanna see? I don't know. I've always wanted to do makeup tutorials, believe it or not, when I like started YouTube. It's at, the channel I started on doesn't exist anymore. But I made these videos that the theme of the channel was like, here's a weird thing that happened in my life. Don't do things that led up to this event. Like I talked about the time my car got stolen. <laughs> yeah, that happened like out of my driveway. Like I uh, I let a stranger like use my bathroom, which looking back, like 18 year old Danielle was so stupid. But when I was like 18, I was having a party at my house, which don't do. Like underage drinking is bad and leads to situations where your car gets stolen. But 
like a couple people were outside like smoking cigarettes and these people were like walking there was like a bar down the road from my apartment and they were like walking from the bar and this girl like just kind of stopped and infiltrated our friend circle and I was fine with that like I'm a friendly person she's like kind of doing the dance like she had to pee you know what I'm talking about kind of like one leg to the other and I'm like dude do you have to pee and she's like I really do I was like you can use my bathroom and she was like baffled like what you're gonna let me use your bathroom and I was like yeah you can like there's like five of us and there's one of you like yes you can use my bathroom well she stole my car keys at some point when she was in my house or my apartment and um she like stole a bunch of other stuff too which was super shitty because I was just trying to be nice and letting her use my bathroom and she stole my car and like a bunch of random like jewelry not like expensive jewelry just like I don't know like shitty like belly button rings and stuff but she like really stole a lot of random stuff and my car I mean I got my car back but like what the what the hell man and like I talked about like one of my biggest pet peeves is when people go to the bathroom while they're on the phone and it's not like I get it like if it's your friend or like your sister whatever like that's no big deal but (laughs) I really hate it when people like call customer service and like I used to work in customer service that's where this pet peeve came from people would call customer service and like poop on the phone have a little tact man anyway so I had this whole channel where it was like don't act like this and then I felt like those videos came across like too ranty and judgmental they weren't meant that way they were meant in a very humorous way but I felt like they came across very like ranty and judgmental and it's funny because in those videos I actually did a bunch of gaming ones too like um, my very first World of Warcraft video was actually from a, an idea from Don't Act Like This, which was like, don't undercut people by one copper in the auction house. It's so annoying. But I did another one about Halo, about um, don't play Halo ranked with your bad friends because you'll like tank your, I, I, I don't know if it's called MMR in Halo, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll like tank your MMR and then you'll be stuck at level 45 forever. I mean, not that that didn't happen to some of us, but it happened to some of us. Um, anyways. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So when I, before I made Trade Chat, but after I made this Don't Act Like This, I had this weird lull of time where I didn't know what I wanted to do and I really wanted to make makeup tutorials. And the problem was I have to get, I had when I didn't have glasses, like when I had glasses before I had LASIK, I had to be so close to the mirror in order to see, to apply my makeup. There was no way I could ever make videos because like there was no way I could ever position a camera that wouldn't end up with a mirror in front of my face so I never could do that but I that was actually really what I wanted to do on YouTube I'm not kidding um I really liked X Sparkage at the time if anybody watches her I loved her um she's still on YouTube I still watch her like she is my longest subscription ever I've been subscribed to her for legitimately eight years um anyways (laughs) back to the topic at hand um so I was thinking about maybe doing some like makeup kind of videos but like I want to do like makeup videos with like a flair like a twist like not just like I don't know I feel like every makeup girl is like oh Disney inspired beauty but I would really love to do like makeup and hair stuff that's like really like fantasy and video games and like vikings and orcs and trolls and like very like very gritty stuff very I feel like I really went on a tangent the next thing on my topic list is a Leroy update and he's doing really well he has been on medication since Thursday he's on an antibiotic and a steroid and he has to take those every day um for two weeks and then in two weeks I bring him into the vet and he will they'll like reevaluate his situation and see if they want to continue on the dose he's on lower the dose which I think they'll probably want to lower the dose because he has no symptoms anymore um he went from not being able to use um his front legs at all not being able to walk not being able to sit up his eyes were two different sizes like his pupils were two different sizes he was refusing to eat he wasn't using the litter box He was in clearly a lot of pain. He did this weird thing where he kind of like always looked like he was holding his breath or something. Like I can't really describe it. But um, he's back to normal. He's been living in my office full time since since he's gotten back from the vet because we wanted to keep him separated from the other cats in case. Because I was telling people it was toxoplasmosis, but I guess I should be more clear that like we did not have the titers done to test if it was actually toxoplasmosis because my vet said that because he's responding to treatment it doesn't matter if it actually is toxoplasmosis or if it's just another 
generalized infection or parasite that affected his nervous system because he's responding to treatment so she wouldn't repl- she wouldn't do the treatment anyways and cats are only contagious with toxoplasmosis um within like 48 like they're contagious for 48 hours after they initially contracted and then like the spores can live for up to two weeks afterwards and he got sick three weeks ago. (laughs) So even if it was toxoplasmosis, there's nothing we would do with that information. So I opted not to get the $200 test done when he's getting better. Um, And that's not that I like cheaped out. I mean, altogether, I think we spent about $1,100 so far on Leroy's diagnosis and treatment. He was at about three different times. He had x-rays and blood tests and urinalysis and he was, he had to stay at the, at the hospital and like it was a whole thing. And by the time that the toxoplasmosis titer conversation came up, he was already responding to treatment. So there really wasn't a point to knowing exactly what type of infection it was because no matter what, he had been sick for three weeks. Like our cats, our other cats had already been in contact with him for three straight weeks. So at this point, like it doesn't matter. Like we kept him separated. Um, He only needed to be separated for like two days. I'm mostly just concerned that he can do the stairs, which I think he can now because he's very active and walking around and he's not wobbly at all anymore and I'm very happy about it. But anyways, also the Legion Alpha came out today, which is, I was really excited about it when I heard about it, but I'm less excited about it now that I've seen it because it's the same demo I did at BlizzCon. But I did make a new video. I did a stream and I read all the abilities. I read all the talents. I read all of the quests as I did them. I showed some um, updated stuff that was in the alpha. So that video will go up probably by the time you see this. Um, Also, I am doing class videos, (laughs) which this whole thing is getting like beta and alpha times are so hard for me because so much happens and people are like, this video, that video, this video, that video. And then I also have regular series that I do on my channel. So it's very hard for me to keep up, but I'm doing my best. I'm working on the class series and I've already done Demon Hunters and Death Knights. Druids are next because I'm just going to do it alphabetically. So I'm really sorry to warriors who I think will be last. And um, last but not least, before I go, we totally, my guild totally killed mythic high council last night so we were officially three out of 13 mythic i'm very excited about it although it was the worst kill in the history of kills we had three people alive (laughs) at the end it was a mess like it was not a clean kill it was not a clean kill but hey it still counts as a kill so that was very exciting for us um we were a guild that this expansion we downed one mythic boss one time in high mall we downed one mythic boss one time in Black Rock Foundry, and now here we are, and we have a new raid leader. A lot of our raiders are new. Some of them are like people that are you guys out there that have joined my guild, and it's been amazing. And now we have killed, we're actually like farming some mythic bosses. Like we've killed Hellfire um, Assault, I wanna say six times. We've killed Fell Reaver twice, and now we've killed High Council once. I'm confident that next week we're gonna kill Hellfire Assault and Fell Reaver, and hopefully we'll kill High Council again and we'll be able to move on to Cormrock. And it's it's crazy to go from having these really, like we really struggle to get this one thing and then it seems so impossible to do it again to actually feeling like, wow, we're like progressing and we're conquering this content. And I know there's a lot of elitists out there that like to say like, oh, you guys are so late. Like everybody already did this, her, her, her. But like, for us, it feels good and it feels like we're really like doing something and like, I feel like the amount of progress we've made in such a short time is so impressive. Like we're one-shotting Heroic Archimon now with big groups, like with like 23, 24 people. It's very, very exciting. And it's been exciting to see like my other raiders who are are getting better and like I'm getting better. I'm a resto shaman. I started out this whole journey being elemental and um, we needed a healer and I started healing and I have never felt so like confident in the class that I've played. And I'm not saying I'm parsing high or anything like that because I'm not. Um, I think I was in like the ninth percentile on our kill, but our kill was bad. And it's also um, like there are fights where I do actually do very well. Like if you compare me to other resto shamans in my gear, but I generally have to do the fight a couple times before I get to the point of being comfortable in that way. Um, but with mythic high council, it's a mana intensive fight for healers and I don't think that's a problem I've ever really experienced that heavily. I mean, I was out of mana the last 25, 30% of the fight and I mean out of mana, like waiting for mana so that I could cast a single spell and that's like this really fun challenge 
that I have to tackle now because that's not something I've ever really had to deal with. And it's it's exciting that there's like this new curveball and I'm excited to like learn more and get better and uh, feels good, man. Feels good. So that's everything that's going on in my life. And I know this video was probably not that interesting for you, but yeah, that's everything that's going on in my life. And I'm going to try to vlog Thanksgiving, but I, I don't make any promises. I really like to vlog when I'm out and about and doing stuff. But then I'm also a very much like enjoying person. Like I don't understand how you can go to a concert and like take video of the concert. Like put your phone down and enjoy it while you're there, you know? Like, and that's kind of how I feel about all things. That's why it's really hard for me to like vlog conventions, vlog trips, because I just want to be present and enjoy it. I don't want to like, I, I can't describe it. It's a very old soul tendency of mine that like I don't need pictures to have memories. I don't need videos to have memories. I just like to be there and be present and like absorb what's going on around me. Um, so yeah, I am going to go though. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I love you all so much. I will see you soon. You're in my hearts. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look, it's me on my phone and me on my phone. And now there's like phoneception things going on. Ah, crazy, right? Mm.